Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're taking another look at construction on the Broadway Subway Project in Vancouver, Canada. This is a $2.8 billion, 5.7 kilometer extension to the existing Millennium Line along the Broadway Corridor. Construction began in 2020, with a scheduled completion date of early 2026. Starting off at BCC Clark, a major milestone has been achieved. All 106 precast concrete beams have now been lifted into place on top of the 21 columns for the 700 meter elevated section. Each 30 meter beam weighs approximately 35,000 kilograms and stands 1.7 meters in height. Craned into position starting in mid-March and ending in late May, precast filler pieces are almost finished being installed to provide a flat surface on which the guideway will be built. Using the same construction style as the existing guideway west of BCC Clark, each pair of beams supports one track. A little further west, three pairs of adjacent beams were laid to support a set of cross points and an extra storage track before the line heads underground. On top of the support columns, some beams were tied in with rebar and concreted into place. while others sit on isolation pads to allow for expansion and movement in the event of an earthquake. After all, Vancouver is in a seismically active area. At the end of the elevated section, a portal to the underground portion of the line is taking shape. Crews are preparing to install rebar cages into the ground to support the transition section. This area was formerly used as site access to the Great Northern Way construction area now is being turned into the tunnel portal. Closer to the Great Northern Way station, the first roof sections of the tunnel are almost ready to be poured. Walls and supporting bases can also be seen. At the future Great Northern Way station, tunnel boring operations are on hold, but more on that in a bit. The station entrance area has been marked off and excavation is now underway. This area was previously occupied by a large crawler crane while the TBMs were being assembled. Down in the station box, the center columns are now done, while the interior station walls are being rebarred and poured. Here we can see crews tying in rebar, as well as the previously poured sections. The orange material behind the rebar is a waterproof membrane. Continuing on to Mount Pleasant Station, we get our first look at a fully complete station box with no tunnel boring machines in sight. The Phyllis, the second TBM to launch, boring the westbound tunnel, left Mount Pleasant on April 18th headed towards Broadway City Hall. Her supporting launch structure for the westbound tunnel is still in place. Now that both TBMs have successfully shuttled through the first station box, crews are able to start building the station proper, as only the conveyor belts and occasional TBM support vehicle has to pass through the area. The columns in the center of the platform that will support all future levels are now complete. Both exterior and interior walls for both the station box and entrance coming along. We can also see more waterproof membrane being installed all around the station, including the emergency exit on the west end. As with several other stations, the long boom arm on this concrete pumping truck is great for getting concrete in place 20 meters below the road. Over at Broadway City Hall, the 210 meter long station box is a hive of activity. The first TBM, Elsie, boring the eastbound tunnel, arrived here on April 14th, whereas Phyllis arrived on May 26th, 
and is slowly pushing out at the westbound tunnel. Both are also undergoing regular maintenance while in the station box. So far, both TBMs have bored approximately 1,350 meters of tunnel and laid close to 900 complete tunnel ring segments. But before they can proceed further, the rest of the station box floor needs to be completed. Crews were pouring wall sections while we were there. The next portion of the floor is almost ready to be poured as well. With limited sight access on the east end, getting concrete to just the right spot takes both a pump truck at street level and a secondary distributor in the station box itself. With Broadway City Hall being the deepest station on the route at over 20 meters down, creative solutions are required to get materials to the right spot. On the west side of the site, excavation for the connection to and from the southbound Canada Line platform is nearing completion. The northbound platform connection is also almost entirely excavated as well. You just can't see it too well as it's directly under the temporary plaza outside the Canada Line entrance. The ramped excavation directly to the east of the current station entrance, which will house the main escalators, elevators, and stairs from the street to the lower concourse level, is just about done. Oak VGH is still in the main excavation phase of the project. Dump trucks are being loaded near the west end of the station by an excavator with a clamshell bucket. The station entrance area now has another level of shoring, while crews continue to dig down. On the east end, the first part of the floor is cured, with another section being poured while we were there. Directly across Laurel Street from the station entrance, the old Parkin and Suites Hotel is another step closer to coming down after the asbestos removal process was completed. At South Granville Station, the 39-story building with integrated station entrance is continuing its skyward advance. While still the only station to have a fully integrated tower above, it's no longer the only transit oriented tower project along the route. More on that in just a bit. But first, we have another 20 meter deep pit coming along nicely. While also still in the main excavation phase, one small section of the floor has been completed on the west end, with more waterproof membrane being installed. We're using a long boomed excavator at this site since there is more room thanks to the adjacent vacant lot on the north side of Broadway. And since last time, the tower crane has been erected. Finally, over at Arbutus Station, while construction is progressing well, the real excitement is across the street. On the south side of Broadway, directly across from the future bus loop and station entrance, TransLink is partnering with a local developer to build a 30-story mixed-use tower. The tower will have over 200 secured purpose-built rental units, with 20% of those at below market rate. TransLink purchased the lot currently the home of Fletcher's Dry Cleaning, in 2019 for $17.1 million. Anyways, moving on. Main excavation on both the station box and entrance is still underway. Crews are pumping in more shotcrete to shore up the walls as they dig deeper. 
but the temporary construction ventilation system is almost up and running. It'll be a while yet before both TBMs reach Arbutus late in 2023. Still plenty of time to prepare for their arrival. And that concludes the spring 2023 update for the Broadway Subway project. As always, thanks for watching. I'll be back with more content soon.